Well, all right now, Cancers, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Cancers, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. I remember your uh, Sunday reading, Cancers. It looks like somebody pulled out the, the, the big, the big uh, hat and the, the big uh, witch's brew for you, like to stir up some stuff, right? So don't know exactly who you, um, you know, you may have, um, you know, inspired because that's what really is, just what it really boils down to. You may have inspired some energies, but like I said before, just remain consistent, Cancers. Let's get right into your reading. I'm talking to you if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart. You already have the um, the questions in the last video. And Monday, Monday motivational videos are an extension of Sunday's video. So keep your vibrations extremely high. And let's see what comes out in this reading, okay? Let's get some good news for this reading. Good news, good news. That's right. Good news. All right, Cancers. Don't forget to set your intentions. The energy has already been cleared, Cancers. Yes, go ahead. Let's see. Here we have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands. We also have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and also the Ace of Wands, right? So I feel like looking at your cards here, somebody has definitely been inspired to move on. Like you inspire a lot of, that's why I said inspired before I even leave the cards, like lay the cards down, right? You inspire even energies that want to prey on you. You know how powerful you are. That's why some energies had to bring out some big pink. They had to pull out the big, you know, people, you know, the, I don't, I don't want to use the word, the G word, right? But, uh, cause I know YouTube picks up on everywhere and I don't want it to, you know, trigger those types of videos to come up. I don't want that to be triggering for anybody, but somebody had to pull out the, you know, big witch energy on you right cancer because you've been inspiring so many people believe it or not people feel like okay now wait a minute i mean i want to hate on cancer but uh i'm kind of like i'm kind of getting a feeling for what cancer talking about here right so yeah so we have the three of wands we have the four of wands we have the queen of wands and also the ace of wands right so three and four is uh is seven and we got ace which would be eight eight of wands sources say stay as far away from any energies that are causing you to be feeling less happy, charismatic, and free. Stay away from being on the dark side of the moon, if that makes sense, right? So as we're moving through, we're in the first quarter moon phase. It's still a waxing crescent moon phase, but sources say if, if it doesn't nurture your spirit, if it burns you out and stresses you out, don't go back to that. You're overthinking it in a state of confusion, don't go back to that. You're feeling good. Somebody is really feeling good. You're inspiring a lot of people. Sources say, get your rest. Because if you go back to that burnout, you know how, I mean, and let me try to make this as clear as I possibly can. If you go back to that burnout, because somebody could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. That could be you or it could be some other energies, right? Because you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off, off your shoulders. Um, but if you go back to being an overgiver, um, and still complaining about how people take, take, take. You also have to own up to the fact that you keep giving. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep over giving. So at some point you're going to have to balance it out. And that's what source is saying. That's where the breakthrough is going to come in. It's like you give people, you give people permission to burn you when you don't, when you don't contain your fire, right? You're all excited and so on and so forth because I'm in a good mood today. Maybe I'll let somebody who burned me back into my life. Okay, whoa, Calpo, <laughs> not today, right? So, hey, maybe I'll let somebody who burned me, who blowtorched me before, who left me in a state of confusion, who left it fizzled out or who, who you know, cussed me out or went off or played the bait and switch, whatever that looks like for you to let that back into your life. You just gave somebody the blowtorch to burn you again. And what I mean by that is like leave you in a state of confusion. Like, I, wait a minute, I was really nice and warm and I was high vibrational. You want to stay on that throne. Stay on that throne of that high frequency, this queen of wands here. You're in a good space. You're in a good head space. It wouldn't matter who they sent, right? You are riding with source. <laughs> That's all that matters. It wouldn't matter who they sent you riding with source, right? So let's see what else we got going on. So I definitely see somebody finally getting their rest. That's where your breakthrough is going to come in. So, and that's how somebody's going to be inspired to continue moving forward and not slowing down. 
Continue moving forward, inspiring people and motivating people from your throne. So, uh, you know, sometimes you see videos and you go, oh my God, you know, like try to, you, you feel paranoid. You say, oh my God, I wonder who is it? Who, who's putting some kind of dark magic on me? It wouldn't matter. They not your source. It really, I mean, it, it really is that it's not. So here we have the six of wands. There, they, there you are back in the saddle again, moving forward, feeling happy, charismatic, free. Here we also have the high priestess. There are some energies that are stuck. They are being stubborn. See, now this is where the breakdown would come through. If you are stubborn enough to go back to being an overgiver and to a point of burnout and they burn you, then now it's going to upset you, right? This energy right here is bull. As it's a, the symbol is a bull, right? That would be a person that's bullheaded. And when somebody burns you or burns you out or stresses you out, and just because you're still at a high frequency and those energies come back into your life and you let them back into your life and they burn you again, now it's a bull in a china closet. Like think about somebody putting a blowtorch to a bull's, like a bull is just carefully grazing, you know, just carefully, just kind of, you know, munching on grass, right? And just next thing you know, a blowtorch comes and then now somebody's upset. They frustrated, right? So just as bullheaded as you used to be cancer there are energies just that bullheaded to believe the 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 scathing things that's been said about you right so let me see if we can let's see if we let's see okay now we gotta go back and we gotta go back and figure out how we can get cancer upset so it's to say your breakthrough is going to be like letting the letting it back draft like you're not opening the door you're not giving it any air. You all remember the movie Backdraft Cancer where it needed some air to grow. That fire needed air to grow, right? So you leave that thing there. So if they still talking about it, that thing, boom, it hits them. Backdraft, right? So yeah, but you're not talking about it. You're continuing to move forward. So let's see what lies ahead. So like I said before, you all, like I said, somebody has new and exuberant love coming across your path. I see some other good news, something, whatever it is you've been praying for, some good news coming across your path. Your third eye is open. Your third eye lets me know your ESP, your intuition. That's your third eye, your extra sensory, perce uh, extra sensory perception, your intuition, um, your sixth sense, right? So somebody already has a sixth sense and uh, your sixth sense is like, okay, I know if I keep my vibrations high because see some energies have already heard some negativity, negativity about you, cancer, just so we're clear. There was definitely some energies that spread some horrible things about you and it spread like wildfire. That's why you see so much fire here, right? And so energies that warmed up to that wildfire that was spread about you, here you are happy, charismatic and free and good spirits. You're inspiring and you're motivating people. You back in the saddle again. You can't unsee, you can't unsee the energies that when well, your third eye, your third eye, your ESP is telling you who all have heard certain things about you, cancer. You don't have to physically know who's tied to who, but just like uh, fire is, uh, gossip is spread like wildfire. Sources say there's some energies right now that's like, you know what? I'm actually inspired by them. They don't seem like they bitter. They don't seem like they talk about you, cancer. They don't seem like they bitter people that it caught like your, your positivity cancer has caught on like wildfire. If that makes sense to somebody, your positivity has caught on like wildfire. That's why when other people are talking negatively about you and you give it no, that negativity, no air cancer, it's going to hit them like that movie backdraft. Here we have, so take the blindfolds off. Don't be so, so see this, take the blindfolds off. Sources are saying, don't be so caught up in, well, what are people saying and who's using dark magic and this kind of thing that you start giving, like, well, I wonder if it's this person. I wonder if it's that person. Now, it don't matter who it is. They're not your God. It's just that, it's that simple. Consistently sit yourself right on your throne. Get comfortable on your throne of high frequency ideas, right? About all these ideas that you're helping to. That's why this leading card right here, you're inspiring people. You've learned how to take all the scathing remarks that were said about you behind your back and still inspire people. And you're motivated by source, not by your haters, 
right? So sources say, or people who are confused, right? So here we have, which is, we know the devil is the author of confusion. So here we have the two of swords, four, six, and seven. So seven of swords, source has been trying to tell somebody is two types of situations I need you to move on from. Two types of situations. Stop over, stop relating energies back into your life that have already, your, have already burned you. Your third eye was open from that, right? You can't unsee it. You don't want to unsee it, right? So I'm going back to that, that confusion, right? Well, they apologize. That's great that they apologize. So they're going to have to start back at square one because you have, you have, um, you have, um, you've had to learn how to heal from those, bur those burn wounds, right? Here we also have the tower card. Yes, yeah, some energy is back going back into your life because they're going through a tower moment. Yeah, their belief system about you. You see, you're free from all of that. That's what somebody doesn't see. You're free and feeling a lot more versatile. And now some people are like having a tower moment. Wow, okay. I could if I I burned the cancer and that didn't burn down, they didn't evaporate them, they didn't stop laughing. You gotta remember cancer. That's what people that's what people get mixed up about you all. Your water sign. So you have like extra water, right? So you have extra water to give to nurturing. You have extra water to give to your being a sweetheart, right? So you said, hey, once you dumped all of the past water out, once you were brought into the light about some situations and that other energies could have been dealing with their own demons of believing rumors that were said about you, got it. I don't need to be distracted. I don't need any more distractions in my life. So that's what's happening, right? Boom, look at you, booked and busy, not burdened at all. That's what you're moving on to, booked and busy and not burdened, right? Source is cooking up something nice for you. I'm telling you, your attitude is determining your altitude. That's why you're going to start seeing your money grow. Because despite all the, the tiki torches that was thrown at you, <laughs> despite, and I say that because I'm seeing one in this car right here, but despite all the tortures that were thrown at you that was designed to burn down your business, that was designed to burn down your reputation, that was designed to burn you. The rumors, the stuff that has been said, oh, they'll never start a business. They won't do this. They got a bad attitude. They got a temper. Everything that was designed to burn your reputation or to back, backfire on you, sources say, oh, no, because of your prayer and your med your prayers and your meditation and your belief in source, boom, I'm fast tracking you, booked and busy and not burdened at all. So, Look, fist bump, fist bump to you all, cancers. Fist bump, high five, elbow bump, whatever. So, yeah, I'm sending good energy your way. Sending a lot of good energy your way, cancers. Sending a lot of good energy your way. Here we have the king of swords, right? Here you're on your throat and you're thinking. Again, if it doesn't involve helping people to adjust their crown, you have nothing negative to say. When I tell you that you're inspiring people right now, cancers, that people talk negatively about you, the people that listen to them, they're like, well, wait a minute. Now we know what kind of frequency they on. They always got, they always got the, feel like they got the inside scoop about people. But I think they could be wrong about cancer. Even if they did, cancer has done a trick. Even if I wanted to give the gossiping people a, you know, a little bit of, well, I mean, you know, they're a good person, but they, something about their energy, something don't seem right. Here we also have the five of wands right here. So yeah, there's some energies right now that's still kind of like battling their demons, trying to figure out like, okay, I'm not sure whether to go back to believing something that was said about cancer or should I move forward? Because I'm sitting here eating popcorn. Like, I mean, I'm inspired by cancer. I, I mean, I, <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's what I'm saying for you all cancer. So congratulations anyway, to you all for just continuing to inspire and motivate people, but you're not going back to any kind of burnout. Yeah, so here we have the Eight of Pentacles. That's what you inspire. You got at least eight streams of income in you, Cancers. And that's what I see coming out. There it is, eight gifts and, and talents. That's what I'm telling you. When I say sources cooking up something nice for somebody because of your prayers, multiple streams of income. Just keep your vibrations high. Just keep your vibrations high. King of Cups, Knight of Cups, excuse me. The only person that can save you is you. So when, when, you, when you find out that people have been trying to uh, put spells and stuff on you, like I said, when I saw that somebody was like speaking, they were speaking, talking negatively about you, right? <clears throat> that would be like, for instance, just to give some context to, with, context to what I'm telling you. 
somebody was saying something that's like, um, you have low self-esteem or you cause them a lot of anxiety or you're a bully or you can't control your temper, something about your fire affecting them. But what they were trying to do is project themselves onto you, your water sign, right? And then remember water is reflective. So when you come back and you argumentative, then boom, they got you. And that's how somebody was able to put, and there's so many different types of spell work, but that's how somebody was able to do it. So them saying, I'm going to cook up something. That's, that's like, I feel like somebody from your, some people, not just one person, some people from your past, like, and it's spread like wildfire. That's why they're having a tower moment and a tower is falling on them because they can't figure out for the life of them. I, I, I'm sending in the big people to get to cancer and it's still not working. So cancers, listen. Wow. <laughs> That's all I got to give it to y'all for real. Wow. Because listen, these energies, see, when we talk about water, the first time we experience water, where is in a womb, right? You've been going through rebirth after rebirth after rebirth after rebirth after rebirth and your symbol is a crab. So whenever you've been blowtorched like this and you had to build up this hard exterior shell and you got to go back into crab mode to process those emotions and you go through that molting process and your transformation and stuff, they're expecting the same hard shell crab to come out. That's why I feel like somebody is, um, and you, you have a hard shell, but it's a, for, for protection. Like, you know, just to be just protection from, you know, just the world in general, but the, the tower card is happening. You feel free, you feel free and you feel more versatile now. And you're, 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 you are putting all of your energy. Remember the tower card is attached to Mars. Mars is the action and assertion. You are taking action to stay in your purpose more so than ever before. And that's why like somebody is saying, okay, you may have had like something, you know, you may have had like a little, um, glitch in the matrix, you know, as people say, you may have had like a little distraction a little bit along the way, but you're not distracted now. 10 of cups. There it is. I'm telling you those cups are running over. Those cups are running over. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. You're getting your wishes fulfilled. So stay focused. Like I said, source is cooking up something nice for you. When you look back, here we have the, um, when you look at back at all the nightmares that you came through to get to where you are right now, you have already started moving on in your mind away from the disappointment. You like, it just feels so much warmer, like the spirit of just like the warmth that you feel when you're operating in purpose. That's what I'm saying for somebody. Yeah. So at least eight streams of income here. We have Knight of swords. Somebody is forward moving. This is where you are. You're, you're moving, you're moving forward towards your, um, you know, away from any distractions. Like somebody is, um, definitely, um, uh, driven, you know, moving forward. Right. Um, and, and not going back to any kind of distractions. Queen of swords. Uh, again, here you are sitting on your throne. Um, uh, and the new and exuberant love coming across your path. I feel like moving forward. I feel like somebody is going to, um, for those of you all who want to be in a love relationship or some kind of good news, two pieces of good news is coming across the mice path. Um, something major that you were praying for is coming across your path. Um, so whether it's love or money or something coming across creative ideas, it's going to first come in as an idea. That's the first thing, right? To give you an opportunity. Cause that's why I have so much fire here to give you an opportunity to decide if you're going to over give time to it. So for, let me get some an example of what I'm talking about. So for instance, if it's an ex that spread rumors about you, right? And you weren't really sure, but your intuition kept telling you, I can't unsee something. They said or did something that I just can't unsee, right? And they try to, and sources sending you information that they want to come close. They want to, they, their spirit wants to come back in. They're trying to do little things that kind of sort of creep their way back into your life. Source is saying, if you over give time to that, to a point of burnout, where is the inspiration to do continue moving forward? Like you were already on a path, right? Where you burn out and stressed out. So say, don't give any time to it. Let that thing backfire. Let it just backdraft, right? While you use that, that fire to, to move you forward. So that's what I'm seeing for you. That is what I'm seeing for you. You are inspiring more people, I'm telling you, than you realize, you, than what you realize, because some energies was trying to set a trap for you. 
That's what somebody don't want to see. Somebody just really just don't want to believe. Somebody was trying to catch you in a web of lies. Someone was trying to burn you. You know, people had, that's why I said judgment. There were people who were judging you and they was dead set on the judgment of you. Now they having a tower moment. Why? Because it didn't affect any area of your life. Even if you saw your money, like, you know, remember time is money. Even if you felt like, okay, I can't put as much time into something right now and I'm starting to see my money affected. Remember, time is relative. The moment you got back in the saddle and got back in this horse and your attitude was like, okay, my attitude determines my altitude. I am waking up and I'm setting an intention that today I am, I am happy. I'm charismatic. I'm free. And you got back in that saddle, boom, booked and busy again. And that just, that tower fell backwards. So if they were judging you or accusing you of judging them, guess what? It don't even really matter. You, you, you too booked and busy, have all these ideas and you're not even, and there's no way you would open that door back up again. So it doesn't really matter whoever spread the rumors, what their reason behind it, or even the energies that sat there and entertain it. It doesn't even really matter the, the reason behind why they entertain the rumors. You never had a, you, in their eyes, the ones that listened to a cancer, you never had really a, a chance, a snowball's chance in hell, speaking of fire, because they came in on a rumor. So you would have been having this uphill climbing battle. And remember, you're a crab, your symbol is a crab. You already moved this way and this way and this way. So whoever spread a rumor in your life, could have came in on when you was when you was in on this in this area of your life or this area of your life or this area of your life. So they don't even really know you. <laughs> so like I said before, give no energy to it at all. People like to come back around where they can't destroy you and say, "Oh well, I mean, well, I'm a couple of people told me such and such or so and so that somebody said." It's always something. They never okay. Well, I don't, you don't deal with somebody said. Okay, so you, uh, anyway. That's what I'm saying. I see you around a whole new group of people. Your wishes are being fulfilled. There's a lot of uh, pouring back into your cup. Like you got creative ideas. I see you sharing creative ideas and other people sharing creative ideas with you. You know, people just want to align themselves with you because you're operating in your light. And that's, that's the reason why when you saw who, the, the who, um, that's when you, that's when you saw the who, spread rumors that's when you saw that's who you saw that well let me just say not exactly who but like the type of energies that would spread rumors somebody sitting somewhere right now taking notes and i'm talking about because they're inspired they take taking notes because they're inspired by you cancer here we have the chariot card and here you are winning hashtag winning source is actually rewarding you Source is actually rewarding you for keeping your vibrations high and not returning predatory energy. You know how, like, you know, when you were at a lower frequency cancer, you may have returned that same energy. Like, okay, so what frequency are we on? Because, I mean, I'm on the same frequency you on. You're not on that frequency anymore. You set the tone for your day. You said, I'm sitting in my on my throne of my emotions and my thinking. I'm not on your frequency. You don't set the tone for my frequency. So that's that's the, that's what you want. So yes, Cancer. Yes. I love it. 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 You do not have time to entertain foolery. So yes, Tower Moment again. This Tower Moment keep coming out, boy. I tell you. And, and so yeah, it's two types of situations. Here we have the Four of Cups. You're not even sitting around ruminating over it. I'm for real because... For you to sit around and ruminate over it, somebody is just grateful that it's behind you. Somebody is like, I'm telling you, there's some energies right now that want to reach out to you. They want to reach out to you and say, you know, I had the wrong impression about you, Cancer. I'm telling you, Cancer, whoever it is you're thinking about, they want to reach out to you because you, your spirit, the third eye already knows you saw something. When you sat down and started processing, when you went back into your crab shell and you started processing your thoughts, you're talking about thinking, your spirit, you started praying and source just kept bringing up energies in your spirit. And somebody wants to come to you and tell you, Cancer, you know, I didn't want to believe so, but such and such told me such and such and such. Click, you, ain't even, you don't even care what they're saying. It, none of it even matters because source still has you moving forward. Some people will sit there and entertain. Oh, I didn't know they were still talking about me. Oh, I, oh, what did they say? 
it don't even really matter. The tower fell on some the tower fell on some people. So now the ones that the ones that started the rumors, now they gotta go back and oh, I mean, maybe they got some therapy. They gotta say something that's low vibrational and trying to demean your, you know, like try to try to try to um justify them burning you. Oh, well, maybe they got some help. It don't it, it listen, it none of it matters. It's not going to stop your eight streams of income. <laughs> it don't matter. You got incoming information. It don't even really matter. It's just a bunch of chaos and confusion. They don't They don't care about so sources. Just get your rest. Get your rest. It don't even really matter what they're saying. Don't matter who they're telling it to. Here we have the eight of swords right here. Because it should then try to sit there and try to think about why people will put this kind of lies and rumors and stuff on you. Will literally have you sitting in a straight jacket in a padded room. They, somebody said that you was crazy, that you was that you had a temper. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Third eye is open. Like I said, let's source download stuff because when you're dealing with energy that's trying to project that onto you, they tell everybody you judging them and you judging their their physical health and you you burn you you confuse them and now I'm confused. Uh, they call. Uh, Listen, calls you the devil, every kind of thing. Here we have the three of cups saying that you practice devil worship. Listen, let's go with your version of that because you over here working. <laughs> you over here busy. Whatever they saying, hey, listen, if they want to be in a state of confusion, that's between them and whoever they praying to. But you getting some rest. Yep, here we have the page of swords in reverse, right? So like I said before, you're dealing with an energy. You're dealing with energies. Like I said, you know, that want to keep anxiety going. Usually when the page of um, swords is upright, it's like your anxiety is coming to an end. Those types of energies like to keep anxiety going. They like to keep anxiety going because it, that's their ego. They're stuck on believing something. They stuck on believing somebody told them such and such, and there must be some truth to it. Based on like there can't be any truth to you being a good person that you can't inspire people. There must be some truth to it. Right. So they just want to express themselves. Right. But see, they all talk. Whoever talked about you, they all talk. They know action here. You are action oriented. You're focused. Right. They uh, take haphazard actions. They operate in haste. Like I said, they jump to conclusions about certain things. You don't have time to entertain that. That's why you're not even overthinking what somebody could have been saying and who could have been putting uh, dark magic on you. You too busy kind of coming through with new ideas, a thirst for knowledge, new ways of communicating with people. I mean, like y'all not on the same frequency. In other words, <laughs> you're not on the same frequency, cancer. So it's nothing to even entertain. Somebody was trying to drive you crazy. You was trying to get some rest. And, and we know that uh, there's healing in rest. Here you are trying to heal from all this, the, your back smoking <laughs> craziness. Trust me, y'all. I am not laughing at this. I'm just like, I can't believe that people just even have the audacity after they try to blow your reputation up and try to drive you crazy and trying to disrupt your peace. Want to even come back. I'm telling y'all some people, they on some, they on some, some, some stuff that was made in a lab. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it came from the, it came, I can't even say it came from nature. There's some, some people on some stuff that came out of a lab. I mean, just crazy. There it is. You got some good news coming your way and they, they, they heavy on your mind. See what somebody is trying to do for real is appeal to your emotions. They want to make you upset. They want, here you are moving forward. You got good information. You got some good news coming in. That's going to put a smile on your face and some energies. Like I said before, they jump to conclusions. You think, because somebody had, and their justification would be something around, you know, you judge them, you did something to them, such a, even if you were to apologize, and it's like, you know what, I'm not sure what I could have done to really hurt your feelings or whatever the case may be, but you know what, let's just call it a, let's just call it a truce. That's not satisfactory for them because again, they, they like to play, that's what I'm trying to tell somebody, like people like to play games. So sources saying, just cut it off. You don't even have to entertain a phone call, a text message, an email, none of it. You will feel like you hit the jackpot. 
That's right. You would feel like you hit the jack. Some somebody getting some good news coming out soon. You gonna feel like a teenager again. Here we have page of wands. That's why I keep trying to tell you. Two situations in particular. Somebody's gonna feel like okay, my my energy level has increased. So anybody trying to resurface and come back into your life, hey, look, watch from the sidelines. You source is saying to you, hang in there with yourselves. You know, hang in there with yourself. It's time for you to dream bigger. Somebody's really not dreaming big enough for real. Like it's time to get notepad out. You got nine wishes that source is saying, I'm trying to fulfill nine wishes for you. Somebody's just not dreaming big enough. Yeah, somebody, let's let's add this, let's add some things, some things up here. Here we have, yep, wish fulfilling for you. Two of your wishes being fulfilled. That's what source is saying. Continue saving yourself, continue moving forward. Um yeah. Um, this definitely for somebody, it could be definitely some temptation. The longer you sit around and ruminating, ruminating over something, you'll be tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency to people saying, you know, on one hand, some energies want to say, oh, like whoever started the rumor was like, okay, you were the one that got away. If it's a love situation, right? Um, but that's what they could be saying to you, but they telling other people that you're a snake. You know, like I said, like that double talk, right? Or if it's somebody that says, oh, you got away with something, right? And and I'm stuck on this. And you, people, they're like, it's like a person who's like an ex-friend, platonic friend or ex-whoever, you got away with something and oh, people will find out who they really are in, in time. So it's just like, okay, time is relative. Everybody, before they find out what their purpose is, you know, does things like makes foolish mistakes. You, you sometimes date certain people. You look back and you go, Oh my God, I used to have a crush on them in high school. Like what? I'm glad. Ooh. Or you, you look back and you say, Oh, um, you were friends with somebody. And then people are like, Oh, y'all used to be friends or whatever the case may be. Oh, such and such. And you've been moved on, but people are still trying to judge you by, you know, whatever church you used to go to or, you know, who your family's name is. They're like, oh, you know what? I was, I forgot the, what's the name? The, there was a, there was a movie and I mentioned this. Um, I think it was on your channel or somebody's channel. This, um, there was this, uh, 10 part documentary, you know, like Netflix, be having the, the bomb documentaries, right? Like they like that. There was like this 10 part documentary about this family and they were into all kinds of stuff, right? So even if you had that same last name, people would still, even if you had never done anything because you had that last name and you came from that part of the world, people would say, oh yeah, oh yeah, those such and such people, oh, that's the last name for such and such family, that kind of stuff, right? So whoever started something and, and it took off like wildfire, those same energies, their egos won't allow them to to believe that you're not like the church you used to go to the such and such that you, you know, uh, organization that you were connected with the job you used to work at. They won't, that's on them. You're not giving any more air to it. If you were born to a single parent, Oh, those people, who are those people? You know, so a source is saying, Hey, listen, you, you ain't giving no more energy to whatever. I feel like, you know, here we have um, the Eight of Wands right here. Source is fast-tracking you. You're not giving any energy to it at all. So be grateful that the past is behind you. Just stay in the pause. Just stay moving forward. I'm telling you, if you're not answering, you're going through a rebirth. You're going through a rebirth. Like, I feel like somebody could have been, like I said, somebody could have been um, a child of a single parent or maybe a younger parent or something like that where somebody judged you or like maybe something where somebody would feel like they can judge you based on your past or where you came from. Or maybe you have a close relationship with your mom, or maybe you don't have any relationship with your mom, or maybe the relationship was horrible with your mom. People judge that kind of stuff, right? And so sources say you're not under their judgment because your third eye open, you let something fizzle out. Some people are not, and looking at the cards here, Cancer, some people are not satisfied until there's some just all out cussing out war before something ends. You're not even on that frequency. Like I said, at your highest frequency, Cancer, you all are the free, are sweethearts. You all are the sweethearts, Cancer. So you have no control over people who are, you know, vexed in their spirit or they, they there's some internal warfare going on. You just on a different frequency, Cancer. So that's all I can say. 
So that makes whatever their experience is, you're not trying to you're not trying to say that it wasn't their experience with you, but you like I said, you've moved on with your life. Awakening. There it is. That's why I said so my third eye is open. Oh my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. It's definitely an awakening. So sometimes you don't really know what, you know, what the rumors or whatever was people may have said about you and what kind of witchcraft. Because in your Sunday video, somebody was trying to put some kind of witchcraft or whatever on you. But stay in your light. Sources show you everything. Even if you feel like, okay, what in the world? I don't want to believe that. They wouldn't do that kind of stuff. They probably are. Journal it. They probably have done it. I feel like somebody may have tried to steal your ID, like steal your, um, steal your, like literally poses you, that kind of stuff. So all I can tell somebody is start changing passwords to your emails, those kind of things. And just recognize that you're inspiring a lot of people. And some people are just not right. Some people, some people, and I'm just not judging anybody, may belong in a padded room with, um, you know, with, you know, just talking to somebody or something. But here we have, I make, I make, I make. Beginning an exciting new path of self-discovery. Yeah. Yeah, you, you deal, you're dealing with some energies that are inspired by you. They've been talking, talking, talking. They can't take that talk, what they said back. Um, some people giving air to that kind of mess. Yeah, but somebody wants to tell you something. So here we have Maiden, number 22. Demand what is yours and take back what was taken. Reclaim until you've gathered all of you. Mm hmm. So I'm just feeling strongly and I'm not trying to create any paranoia or anything, but change your passwords, change your passwords, you know, um, be careful about what you post on social media, but your third eye is open and you're operating from wisdom. You know, when source asks you Solomon, <laughs> right? What you wanted above everything else. You say, I want more wisdom, right? So wisdom and, and knowledge. I'm a lifelong learner, period. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. Divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. Yeah. Yep. Some energies, they just, their whole, everything is about making people just as unhappy as they are. They don't, they feel like they got to enter. I feel like somebody feels like the space where you are right now, you have already been where they've been under other people's harsh judgment, right? But because you're inspiring so many people, they feel like they got to witness it firsthand, you being under judgment in the era of the life where they're in, if that makes any sense. They want to see how you handle judgment. Are you going to break down and cry? Is it going to break your mental break? That's sad, right? When you think about it, like somebody has to be sick to try to, but people do it every single time. Well, they don't understand. They seem like they too happy. You don't know what brought them to that place of happiness, but you know now it's purpose. That's when we talk about the tower card came out twice. Somebody is operating in their purpose. Somebody is operating in their purpose. I feel like no matter what kind of news some, something comes back to or somebody gets some kind of news about something, I feel like somebody's going to be like, okay, uh, I'm not even... It's like like energy's like trying to intentionally hurt you, cancer, if that make any sense. Okay, if the, if the dark magic didn't work, let's see if I can get cancer's attention to intentionally hurt cancer. You're, you're on your throne. You're on your throne. You're celebrating your life. Protect your water. Protect your joy. Whatever that looks like. Like I said, I see somebody, you know, changing their passwords. I see somebody being very careful about what you post on social media. Um, and, um, you know, watching your energy. Some people are just vindictive. Here we have the number 10. I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills, Cancer. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. Number 10. Yep. So, 
Yep, that is what I have for you, Cancers. I want to make sure we got everything. Yeah, let me get a um, let me get one of these cards here. But that's what I see for you. Like sometimes when you seem like you're a little bit too excited and too inspirational for people, people seem to try to try to extinguish your flame, right? With rumors and negativity and those kind of things. Somebody's gonna have to learn how to not give any air to it whatsoever because it can drive you crazy as to what lengths people will go to to try to extinguish your flame. And then they'll try to justify it by something that you don't even know about. So keep on moving forward. Keep moving forward. That's what I have for you, Cancers. Thank you for joining me. Again, happy Motivational Monday. I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. Bye.